Hey, this is Ron from Dr. Smoke. Today I'm going to go over how I clean my smoker. We've had a decent amount of questions from people on how to do this. So I'm just going to give you a quick once over, step by step, and show you which products that I use. Uh, first, I use Simple Green. It's a degreaser, so it's really good for the inside. Uh, it's also uh, non-toxic, so it's better for anything that you're cooking with. Paper towels, you can use some rags, but they're gonna get pretty nasty and uh, I wouldn't wanna wash them in my washing machine. Next, I use Scotch-Brite pad. I get these at the local hardware store. I usually cut little squares off like this. It doesn't take a whole lot and you're gonna want a good pair of black uh, gloves to wear and a trash bag and also a shop vac. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing I do, I'm gonna put my gloves on. It is pretty greasy in here. And you're gonna be taking things in and out, so it's easier if you have gloves on. I'm gonna take my grate scraper, take my top rack out. This is easier to clean when it's out. And I'm, while everything's nasty in here, I'm going to go ahead and clean the grate the best that I can. Now, I like to flip the grates over. And do underneath of them. Some people will take these out, and I've heard of them, put them in their dishwasher and stuff like that. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can spray them with oven cleaner to get the grease off. But honestly, this grease is almost like a non-stick cooking agent, so I don't mind a little bit being on there. Take these out. Now you'll notice in here on my drip tray, I use foil. Uh, I try to use the larger rolls so I can just do one piece. In this case, I use two pieces, so you wanna overlap it like a shingle, so as the grease runs down, it doesn't get onto the tray itself. Let's go ahead and get this tray out. You can see how nasty it is. All right, my fire box is in here. You're gonna to have to go over to the side and unscrew that. Right here. This is your little side door here. You can open that up and we're gonna be cleaning that out. My grease bucket has a decent amount of grease in there. So I'll go ahead and I'll probably heat this up and dump that out into a little bucket so my dog doesn't eat it. It's time to clean the grease tray. Fold this back. You can see grease still gets on there, but it's not as bad as if I just ran it without one. I'll go ahead and fold this up. I change these out depending on how long I'm cooking. Sometimes every time, sometimes every other time. It depends how nasty that it gets. So you'll have some grease on here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some simple green on that. And I like to let it sit for a couple minutes so it can cut into that grease and then I'll go ahead and wipe that down. Okay, so my firebox is unscrewed. I can go ahead and pull this out. Now underneath of it, you're gonna have some ash stored up inside of it. So just be careful that you don't dump that all over your patio. And let's have a look inside. Okay, so you can see I have a good amount of ash in here. I did uh, like two long cooks with it. So I went a little bit longer than I should have. Uh, my 
my fire pot down in there does have some unburned pellets, which will happen if you shut your smoker down at a higher temperature and you don't lower the temperature. Um, it can shut down and not burn everything off. That's one way to try and do away with that. Um, okay, so the next step would be to get this vacuumed out. And here's my shop vac, and we'll get started on not that. Not much to this, it's not much fun, but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out everything that I can get. Okay, so I vacuumed the inside out. You can see it's pretty clean in there. I try not to scrape the walls too hard because if there is any loose paint, you don't want to break that off. Um, this is a good time to inspect the inside here. You want to make sure that you don't have any grease down in the bottom. That's a good way to start a fire. Um, if there is grease in the bottom, you're probably putting your food too far out to the side and it can drip down into the back here. Also along here, I've seen a lot of people put food along here and it will get onto your temperature sensor. So you don't wanna do that. Now this is a good time to take the Scotch-Brite pad and you'll see your temperature sensor back here. And I'm just gonna wipe that off gently. You want it to look clean. Some people say like a shiny penny. If this is dirty, you can have fluctuating temperatures. So this is one thing that you wanna take care of, keep it clean. All right. Now in your smokestack here, every once in a while, you're gonna to wanna to clean this out. You can get a lot of buildup in there and start a fire. Mine's pretty clean down in the back there. I just gave it a quick vacuum. Um, after so many uses, you'll take your chimney top off and you get down in there and clean it and vacuum that out. All right. Okay, quick tip. If your grill is not level or leaning to the back just a little bit, you're gonna get a lot of buildup in the front here of grease. And what'll happen is eventually this grease will either burn up or you're gonna have a fire. So keep your grills level or slant it to the back just a little bit so that the grease can run out of the trap here. Also keep this trap clean. If this does plug up and you build up grease, it's gonna get down over these ledges here and down into the bottom. And that's how you'll have a grease fire. Okay, so the grease trap is cleaned. Um, I, I just scrape it and I wipe it out real good. I don't use any degreaser in there or anything having a little coating on there isn't gonna hurt. Now, you'll see around the rim here where your grates sit, <clears throat> you'll get a good buildup of grease. I will just spray a little bit of Simple Green on that channel. And I will go ahead and just give it a quick wipe. I'm not trying to get it perfect. Just wipe that thick coating of grease off of there. That's the kind of stuff that catches on fire. So you wanna get rid of that heavier stuff. Okay, now I don't do this every time, but grease will build up in here and you wanna inspect it pretty good to prevent any fires. So I'm looking up in the top here and I actually have a pretty good buildup of grease. So I'm just gonna hit that real quick and just give it a quick wipe like I said I don't do this every time the inside's pretty good so now I'm just going to get this rim around the outside here just a quick little spray and you can do the lid.
Let's get you in close for this. Cleaning the window. This is a question we get all the time. Scotch bright. Just like that. It's not that hard to do. On a long cook, it'll smoke up. But if you do short cooks, before you start up, just wipe it down real quick. Just like I showed you. Simple green and a little scotch Brite pad and it'll come clean. Okay. So the inside of my smoker is clean. I wiped everything out pretty good. I got the top this time. I don't do that all the time. The lid is wiped down. You're not trying to get all the grease off. The grease is actually, uh, it, it helps protect the inside from rusting or anything like that. So I leave it. The window's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put my firebox back in. I've taken this out into the yard and cleaned out the inside of it. You can see your little screw hole right there. Go ahead and set this in. And I've actually put a little scratch inside of here so I know where this is supposed to go. It's lined up. All right. Now we need to reinstall the adjusting rod. I have a little bit of high temperature grease here. And like I said, I will put some of that on here. Not a whole lot. You just want to put a little bit to keep it from seizing up. I recommend using a high temperature food grade. All right. It's in, it's tight, and it's got a little grease on there. We can go ahead and close our trap door. Voila. All right, now I cleaned my drip tray. You guys missed the fun. You're not looking to have it perfect. If you want to, go for it. I really don't care. I just get the grease off of it. I use a little bit of my Scotch Brite. That's clean enough for me. And now I'm going to take my tin foil. I use the heavy duty tin foil. It's the longer roll, so it fits the whole thing. And I like to do the non stick on the bottom. And when you get down to the side here, your hole's right here. You need to make sure that that hole is cleared. So. Okay, it's time to wipe the outside down. I just used my simple green and some paper towels. Spray it. And don't forget to get underneath of there.
Okay, everything's wiped down. I'm gonna be installing my thermal cover. So you always wanna give it a good cleaning before you put that on. You don't want grease build up underneath of it. It can heat up and actually start to cook the paint off. So it's nice and clean and I can go ahead and put my thermal cover on. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our videos and our channel. Give us a like and we appreciate it. Thanks.